you won it quite convincingly over two legs. What was the key to victory, do you feel? The amount of effort and intensity, the teamwork in uh, both legs was fantastic and really incredible and outstanding. Is uh, We missed uh, four key players today, four or five key players, four of them always ready to start with Andreas, Thiago, Mason and uh, Jorginho. Everybody else stepped up with huge support from the bench, huge support from the stands, the guys who were, were injured and not here and this is what I feel. Guys, totally reliable. The effort and intensity is, is incredible. It's hard, hard teamwork. And I'm very, very happy because uh, we have moments where we are excellent with the ball, but we never, never lose intensity against the ball. We play uh, very brave and very courage in defending and uh, adapt to any system that the opponents play today. So over two legs is a, is a deserved win, which is a big win because it's the quarter final. And uh, yeah, I'm super happy for, 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 for my players. John Cross, Daily Mirror. Hello, Thomas. When you, when you played so well um, over the course of the two games, dominate both games, manage the games so well, yeah. how much confidence can that give you um, for Friday's, Friday's draw that you can be a match for, for, for anyone in this competition? Because the players have so much pedigree. I think the most important is that we feel that we, go, uh, that we deserve this. The most important is that, that the guys, uh, that we give a feedback for the guys really uh, what they did here in terms of quality but also intensity and the most important is that you feel it that not your manager has to convince you and not uh, anybody needs to convince you everything is good but we miss the results you need to feel it and uh, they play with a special bond and um, um, fixtures like this and results like this give you the certain edge and the certain uh, clue to, to achieve uh, special things. You can only do this with a special atmosphere. And right now we are in, the, in this draw. And uh, I'm pretty sure that nobody wants also to play against us. And this will be a super difficult challenge, of course, because we're in the last eight, which is uh, already a big step. But um, from, from there on we go. And there's uh, no need to be afraid. We, 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 we take what we get and uh, we'll prepare the best way possible. Jerry Cox. Hi Thomas, congratulations on Thanks. the win. Um, how pleased were you with your front three, and particularly Hakim Ziyech, who hasn't had an easy time since arriving at Chelsea, but he's, he's always shown that he can do it at the highest level of this yep. competition. Yeah, he played for that, for that reason he played today, because he did it with uh, Ajax, he came through until the uh, semi-final I think, so we choose him for this he had good experiences in in round of 16 he is he he knows what it how it feels to 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 arrive in the in the knockout round and to go through to the last eight first reason second reason first reason because he deserves this was the second reason and third reason uh, was because we today was also like that we miss mason mount and the, we wanted to replace the, the work rate and the intensity from Mason with Hakim. Because we know we face uh, many times a, a midfield of three against Atletico with a lot of quality. And we wanted to have three central midfielders uh, against the ball, minimum against the ball. So this was Hakim's job to, to give to give reliable work rate uh, into this team. This is what he always does. He suffers a little bit um, to adapt, maybe to to our style. He's um, he loves to play very creative. He needs a little bit to adapt to the structure and to be maybe a bit more reliable with the ball. That everybody around him knows a little bit better which ball he likes to play, and he needs to find a bit better the rhythm when to take risk and when not to take the risk. But I'm super happy because for what we put him on the field today, this is totally reliable. That he is. Uh, a hard-working guy up front and um, I'm happy that he could finish uh, the, the, the transition the transition with Kai and Timo so so the three were all involved and was a, was a nice goal and a decisive goal. Matt Law. Hi Thomas. Hi. Um, you I wondered if you'd seen many better midfield performances than N'Golo Kante tonight. <laughs> and and also, he, he turns 30 this month. He doesn't look like he's going to be slowing down anytime soon. I never sh I, I, I never know the age of my players. I just judge from, from performance. And 
you know, if you play with NG, you always play with minimum half a min more because he gives an intensity and volume that is simply outstanding and this is uh, unique. Uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be coach of him. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big gift for me. Uh, a guy so, so humble. Uh, such a big helper on the pitch and um, don't underestimate his quality in passing and dribbling and escaping the pressure and uh, still things to improve for him even uh, so with the ball so fantastic to have him and uh, yeah Kova, Kova and him needed to step up today because we missed Shoshi uh, in 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 midfield, so the two knew that uh, we rely on 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 them, and they took all the weight on their shoulders, and and uh, they did a fantastic job. Nizar Kinsella. Hi right, Thomas, congratulations. Um, the goal was pretty brilliant. The first goal today. Um, how much did it excite you the way they linked up the three attackers, and and is that something you kind of want to see click over your time as a manager? Yeah, we need to improve in counter attacks clearly. We need to improve in, uh, we have so many balls, ball wins, we need to improve in the first first one, two contacts after we win the ball that we uh, implement uh, uh, more forward thinking after the ball wins to use our speed to exploit some spaces. The goal is fantastic because if you look how the goal uh, starts, it's a, it's a tackle from Timo, a deflection of the cross, a tackle from Timo, we are not lazy and wait for counter attacks, we are hard working. And we are a hard-working team, and the hard-working team is, is, is the best team you can have as a coach. So, they, yeah, we're looking for the click, we're looking for a bit more clinical and uh, precise decision-making in the counter-attacks, because even in second half we could finish the game off uh, easily with two, three goals, but we're, we're still lacking um, the last pass. Uh, yeah, but it was, was, was nice to see that our offensive guys are involved in decisive goals. This gives us a big boost. OK, last two questions. John Murray and Jacob Steinberg to finish. John. So I was certain, in spite of what you say there, you know, this start that you've made just goes from strength to strength. How good a thing do you think you have going here already? based on when you draw on your previous experiences? I felt from the very first moment like a, like a part of, of, of a family and of a, of a, a well, well-structured club uh, organization that thinks every three days, uh, that thinks only what is needed that the that, uh, first team of football wins, wins games. And this is everybody in this club thinks about football and up front. The support was from the first day amazing. I feel like a, a part of it, um, a, a, a true part, and I feel like part of, of really also of the team. Um, the, the the input of the players, the the, the amount of, of the, the, the the approach to the game to training is outstanding. Uh, what Premier League demands and what they what they are used to to give into into their performances is 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 simply fantastic to see. And uh, from 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 here we go and uh, we take it step by step, and we encourage them because we see so many good things since since the first training and the first first game that we coached, which was was very very soon after we arrived, one day after we arrived, and from there we had so many good good habits and uh, the atmosphere and uh, the, the attitude towards training and game and in the whole club is amazing and uh, yeah it's our job to play our part and my job to play my part not more and not less and uh, um, this is what it is all about put the game put the guys in 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 the in the in the mood and in the spirit that they can perform and that they can show their quality because this is their quality last question jacob steinberg Hi Thomas. The second goal is scored by Emerson, a player who yeah. you know hasn't played that much for you, yeah. but then he's come on tonight and made a big impact. And then we see players running the length of the pitch to, to celebrate with him. Yeah. Uh, players in the stands, obviously Thiago leading those celebrations. What what does that do for for your mood? And, and what have you done to get that, as you say, that special bond going within the I'm camp? I'm so so happy for him. Uh, the guy suffers all the time from my decision. We have uh, we have three players for one position. We have Marcos Alonso, uh, Ben Chilwell, and and Emerson. 
So uh, we started to play in the back three and um, we we chose for different players and a bit of different systematic. So we had only the choice, the chance to show up in one one cup game, which he did. After some uh, after some days, where he needed to settle to the new informations and maybe the new style, he's training with an unbelievable effort. He's one of the nicest guys that you can ever imagine. He's always friendly. He's uh, unbelievable quality. So today. It was uh, absolutely necessary to give him a reward um, and to give him a little, uh, just some minutes as a thank you for his, his attitude. It's a perfect example and, and you see what comes back. I mean, he gets such a big reward and everybody is celebrating uh, with him. Everybody is happy for him because I truly believe that everybody in the group feels what he's doing for the group. And uh, it's not easy because he puts his personal situation aside, he puts his ego aside and he plays his role, which is like to give 100%, be super professional and at the same time super nice, never let anybody down with bad mood. And this is fantastic and I, it's just on me to find new rewards for him. And uh, I just said that to him after that I'm very, very happy and grateful and, and thankful that uh, for him that he could that he could uh, show up today and that uh, yeah it's a, it's a pleasure to have him.